Hello everybody and welcome to another journal with me video. In today's video I am going to be starting my journal pages for June and for the month of June I have decided to continue to challenge myself to use supplies that I haven't really been comfortable with or have had for a while and have just kind of fell out of love with and those particular supplies tend to be the Tim Holtz supplies and like the like the vintage reproduced ephemera. I think Seven Gypsies makes some and there was another company that the name is kind of slipping my mind but I have just been collecting this stuff for such a long time and the ephemera tends to be a little too big to fit in a standard size traveler's notebook easily and so I would buy these supplies with the intentions of using them but when it came to actually using them they either were too big or too thin thick to put in my notebook and I was worried about creating a crease when I was writing or I put them away because I tend to do that a lot too where I want to be organized and I want to put my things away so that it's not creating a mess and then I forget about it and I forget where I put it I forget that I have it sometimes I've even gone out and repurchased them because I'm I completely forget what I've done and so I have an excess of these supplies so I've gifted some away um, I've organized by theme and size, so um, like the most recent Tim Holtz stuff that came out, which are these tags, and then that ticket book, and then the um, there's like a traveler's folio thing. I really love those supplies a lot, but there was a lot of different themes inside the ephemera pack, and so what I did is I separated those themes from like the vintage ephemera, like paper bits, tickets, and, and labels, and um, flowers, mushrooms, butterflies, and bugs, and just separated them all and put them in different envelopes. And now I can freely work with those supplies without having to sort through a bunch of different things. Now I, I know I talked about it last week about my oldest son eating our glue and having to literally lock it away and my cute little lock box kind of made a cameo there and I love that thing it's super convenient I know it's almost ridiculous to have to lock up my glue but completely necessary for the cost of my supplies and my child's health obviously so um but yeah that's what I'm doing now I've pulled the supplies that I know I like the vintage ephemera style and I will say that I I kind of struggled and was frustrated a little bit with the thickness of the ephemera. It's very, it's not like chipboard thickness, but it's like a thicker cardstock. And I, I think I would have preferred if it was a little bit thinner because like I said, when I use these thicker supplies, they tend to leave like a crease on the back. And when you like write over it on the opposite side, there's like this bump there and I, that annoys the snot out of me. So that's frustrating. But I committed to <laughs> I committed to the challenge and decided to use these supplies anyway and I really love them as always I always pick through a few like I go through as at the beginning and choose the the bits that I really want to use and really <laughs> choose the supplies that I love and work from an even smaller pile even though when I get an idea and before I film, I kind of go around and select a bunch of supplies that I know I want to use. At the beginning, when I'm sitting down to actually do the the decoration of the pages, I sort through and make my pile even smaller. And if I need to go back, like now, if I need to go back and choose more supplies, then I can easily do so because my other pile is over there. But it it's just a system that works for me and limiting my supplies tends to work. So, um, yeah, I've... Really liked the process of this. Um, I hope I can get done with most of these supplies because I am going to be using them for my mail art as well and then things to include my, with my letters and stuff. So I'm hoping that I will be able to finish this little hoard of Tim Holtz stuff. Um, this stuff right here is the newer stuff that he put out recently, but I know I have a bunch more of the older stuff that... Um, it just, I was talking about it with a girlfriend and some of his stuff is so oversaturated. When you see something so often for so long, you you gravitate less towards it. And I 100% I believe that is exactly what happened 
with the Tim Holtz stuff that has come out in the last three years or so when it, it's just oversaturated. You see it so much. Everybody's got the washi. Everybody's got the ephemera and um, I just got bored with it, stopped using it, stopped gravitating towards it and put it away and forgot about it. But when I saw that he had new stuff come out, I decided to go ahead and go for it. Um, and grab it and, and challenge myself to use it quickly so that that wouldn't happen again. And that's the problem. That's the, the, the struggle when you buy a bunch of these supplies that you love and then you love them so much that you hoard them and then you don't use them. And then when you want to go use them, you're sick of seeing them and you don't love them and then you don't want to use them. So the challenge, the point of this is to use the supplies as soon as you get them so that doesn't happen. The other beauty of this is that these supplies look old, but they aren't actually old and I have no problem ripping them out and using them. I don't feel any guilt. I don't feel any ugh with using them. I feel comfortable using them because um, I know with a lot of the vintage ephemera, it tends to feel like it's irreplaceable and with the Tim Holtz stuff it has that same look and feel and style but it is very easily replaceable. So another thing I want to note that I thought was very interesting and funny in the tags pack that I got from the new Tim Holtz line I actually owned like three or four of the original tags that were replicated in that pack and I thought that was absolutely hilarious. I think we shop in the same circles. <laughs> Or we have friends in the same circles. I just thought it was really interesting when I opened that pack and started seeing all these tags that I knew I owned that were originals. And um, I know I probably will never use those originals, but now I have these replications or these replicas of that that I have zero guilt in using. And that made me really, really excited. So anyway, I hope everybody is doing well and enjoying their June. I know the world is starting to open back up again and I hope everybody is using um, caution and being aware of their surroundings and where they're going and who they're around and being safe and aware because, you know, the coronavirus still exists and we still want to be aware of all that. But um, I'm hoping that you guys are able to get out and get some me time and get some... Um, get some space away from the house. I know that I have really enjoyed getting out of the house and um, have had to be super aware and cautious about where I go and my exposure and stuff, but I hope that everybody else is able to get away. In other news, I feel like a newscaster. <laughs> uh, my husband has moved in with me. Now, I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous. We've been married for 14 years, but... Um, we have had separate workspaces all that time, and I have my office in one of our actual bedrooms, um, and so it's been my office, and then when the boys had to do school at home this spring, it became our office, and then when the boys moved out a couple weeks ago after school ended for them, my husband was kind of looking at the space like, maybe I want to come in. And I think we were kind of play fighting and he tried to use that against me like, well, if you spend so much time in here, I'm going to move in here too so I can spend time in here and we can just avoid the world together. And he was trying to be facetious, not realizing that I would sort of agree with it. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Come on. <laughs> move right on in, buddy. <laughs> you are just giving me more of a reason to be in my office even more than I already was. So he went out and bought a desk like <laughs> immediately <laughs> and I wish I could show you guys the desk behind me it's not even cute <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like an actual man's metal work desk and <laughs> it's so bad but we're in the space together we'll be able to spend more time in the evenings together doing the things that we both love he's going to be able to tinker and do the things that he's passionate about and I will be able to get more done in the office together, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, so that's exciting. <laughs> oh, man, these tiny words were really fun. I really enjoyed them. I've had those probably five or six years now, and they just keep getting put away and never used. So I thought it would be appropriate to pull them out and use them as much as I could on this layout. And I actually love, love, love the way it turns out. What I love the most about this challenge is that I know it's going to be cohesive through the entire month using the same supplies. 
So I'm very much looking forward to that. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see everything up close. And I just appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thank you so much for spending time with me on my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, I would encourage you to do so so you don't miss any videos in the future. And that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye!